Hi, today we're going to be adding integers. So we're going to be adding integers. Now, one thing you need to understand about adding integers is you need to understand your absolute value. An absolute value. Absolute value means how far away from zero. How far away is it from zero? And here's how you would show, show absolute value. It's with two straight lines. Two straight lines. And then you put the number on the inside. So, the absolute value of 8 would be 8. Just like the absolute value of negative 8 is also 8. Because 8 is, far, is 8 places away from 0. Negative 8 is also 8 places from 0. So the absolute value for both of those, positive or negative, would be 8. Another example, absolute value of 7 would be 7. Your absolute value for negative 3 would be 3. Again, 7 is 7 places from 0, so the absolute value is 7. Negative 3 is 3 places away from 0, so the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Now, hopefully that you have that taken care of, we're going to go into some adding with integers. So the first example is going to be negative 5 plus a negative 2. So you have negative 5 plus negative 2. Well, this is like owing someone $5 plus you owe someone $2. So I'm owing in both cases. So I owe 7, and I'm going to keep the negative sign because they're both negative. The next example, we have negative 7 plus 10. Negative 7 plus 10. Well, I owe $7. I have $10. So I need to pay my debt. So well, how much money would I have left? I would have $3 left. And would that be a positive or negative? It would be positive because I have more positives than I do negatives. So I get a positive 3. Now, if we were to reverse that, Let's say that I have 7 plus a negative 10. Well, I have 7 positives plus negative 10, so I have more negatives than positives, so I know my answer is going to be negative. And how many more negatives do I have than positives? I have 3. And let's go ahead and continue to use these same numbers. Well, let's say that I have negative 10 plus a negative 7. I have two negatives, so I can actually put those together. I have 10 negatives, I have 7 negatives, so together I have negative 17. One more. Let's say that we have 10 plus 7. They're both positive, so you put them together. And you get 17, and it's positive. Pretty easy. See you next time.